Hi guys, welcome to this all important session where we'll be discussing China Taiwan conflict. Uh, we've read it in newspapers, we've seen in television about this issue. क्या है इसके बारे में इंपॉर्टेंट चीजें जो हमें पता होनी चाहिए व्हाट आर द सुपर डुपर इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग्स दैट वी शुड नो लेट्स क्विकली फाइंड आउट वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट द हिस्ट्री ऑफ द चाइना ताइवान कॉन्फ्लिक्ट वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट व्हाट वाज द ट्रिगरिंग पॉइंट फॉर योर चाइनास रीसेंट मिलिट्री ड्रिल्स ऑल ऑफ दिस इन दिस सेशन सो लेट्स क्विकली बिगिन सो गाइस व्हेन वी टॉक अबाउट चाइना एंड ताइवान हियर इज अ मैप दैट डिपिक्ट्स वेयर चाइना इज वेयर ताइवान इज सो यू कैन सी हियर सो चाइना एंड ताइवान uh you know are uh, separated uh, through you can say uh, you know the water uh, that is sea up china and taiwan both have a long 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 history so the first settlers as we can see here uh, that the uh, when we talk about your know, taiwan you can see it is near the southern boundary of uh, china so the first initial settlers there in the taiwan region were from south china right so south Uh, you can say uh, southern chinese people uh, were the first settlers there in the region if we talk about the timeline uh, 1624 to 1661 the entire time duration uh, the dutch colony was in complete control of the region uh, if we talk about from 1683 to 6 to 1895 uh, it was under the control of china's king dynasty this is the point where which china actually refers to right now and states its claim that it was of china uh, since 1683 so a long time uh, you know it was under china's king dynasty and then the first war happened with japan right the first china japan war uh, in the year 1895 happened and japan was victorious japan was able to take entire control of the taiwan region so taiwan now belonged to japan for a long period of time and uh, after only the second world war when uh, japan actually lost from the allied forces the allied uh, forces actually gave away taiwan to uh, china right china now had you know control over the region after the second world war now after that uh there were you know lots of protests in the year 1947 and on 28th february 1947 uh you know something happened which obviously shook the entire uh, you know world uh you know mass protests were happening and thousands were butchered and uh, you know people there in the taiwan region uh, they were also protesting and uh, you know a civil war which was going on in china uh, you know one faction uh, which was uh you know uh, rooting for a separate country for taiwan and the other wanted it to be a part of uh, the china province right the main land china 1949 after this civil war the government in exile was actually formed in taiwan so uh, when the civil war was going on uh, the party which was uh, victorious had the entire command of mainland china and the other party was actually confined to the region of taiwan and now taiwan actually started declaring them as an independent uh, country of their own right so the mainland china they came up with one china policy they said they made an appeal to the entire world they said that do not accept taiwan as a separate province we are the ones who are mainland china right and they call themselves as people's republic of china you can see one china policy is the position held by the people's republic of china that there is only one sovereign state under the name china with prc serving as a sole legitimate government and the other one that is taiwan uh, the republic of china is also a part of china so earlier uh, when unsc uh, you know uh, uh, when in the united nations security council uh, you know china was given a permanent seat it was actually the republic of china and not the prc but later on given the size the length and breadth of uh, you know prc it was actually then given to uh you know china the mainland china that we know as so many countries actually support the claim of china and they do not recognize uh you know taiwan there are only a select countries a dozen countries almost uh you know who actually say that yes taiwan is a separate state uh india also follows and believes one china policy and uh, india does this in hope that china will also follow the one india policy and india's uh, claim to the region uh, the disputed 
uh, LOC, uh, you know, the entire uh, POK, uh, the entire territory that is disputed with even China, uh, you know, India has a claim on this. India hopes that China also recognizes, uh, you know, our, uh, you know, policy. But anyways, India also accepts the one China policy. Now, what happened? What uh, was the triggering issue uh, right now? What made, uh, you know, uh, China and Taiwan, uh, you know, at loggerheads? Uh, Nancy Pelosi, uh, the Speaker of the U.S. House of Representatives, uh, she was, uh, you know, she's a well-known politician. She actually uh, came and visited Taiwan. She visited Taiwan. Now, why would that be an issue? So, China says that uh, there is only one China. Why are you going and talking to Taiwan, right? There is no point in going and discussing anything with China, no political relations with China, because every political decisions are to be made by the mainland China, there is only one China and Taiwan is a part of China. You believe this, that is US believes this, but uh, US also says that if in case whenever US tries to, uh, you know, with force take Taiwan, uh, US will support, uh, you know, through its military, etc. It will support Taiwan, right? So some strange things happening, right? Strange claims. Any which ways. So Nancy uh, Pelosi, she was not supposed to make any such diplomatic visit to uh to the place that is Taiwan and she did that once they did it China uh, you know started saying all sorts of things Aag se mat khelo. <laughs> right? don't play with fire these were the official statements made by the uh, uh, you know made by the Chinese uh, government now China believed that one China policy was not honored and as a protest what did they do they announced military drills there right so they are violating uh, the treaty that they are signed of, uh, uh, you know, not entering into the airspace or the water space of Taiwan, but they are now conducting military drills and exercises over the region. Uh, so, Taiwan is not a, uh, you know, nation that cannot protect itself. It is also, uh, you know, well equipped in terms of, uh, you know, arms and ammunitions and all sorts of other things that are required to protect uh, the island, uh, they have, you know, lots of resources and they are, uh, you know, better off, uh, you know, in terms of, uh, you know, having good alliances. They have great alliances as well, plus all the treaties that they have with, uh, you know, countries like uh, US, etc. Uh, you know, they are well secured. So, in case there is a full-scale war, of course, there will be, uh, you know, huge, 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 uh, you know, issue to the entire global economy. We all know that what happened when Russia and Ukraine, uh, you know, war happened. Uh, lots of issues, lots of problems were India, maybe, uh, we know that, uh, you know, the war effects were seen. Uh, the entire world saw. But Russia or Ukraine are not big exporters. Hai. But Taiwan is. Right? Taiwan, semiconductor chips, etc. Taiwan, if we talk about Taiwan, lots of uh, you know, things uh, there are. If we talk about, you know, the global dependence, look at this. Taiwan actually is responsible for petrochemicals, semiconductors, automobile parts, uh, ships, uh, electronics, uh, steel. So many things actually are produced here in uh, Taiwan. If we talk about China, we don't need to say anything, right? Everything is produced, uh, you know, the device in which you are seeing this video probably is also made in China. So China and Taiwan both are, uh, you know, very important for global economy. And if uh, you know, there's a war-like situation that comes, uh, the entire uh, global economy will be at risk, right? So that is what is the entire issue. I hope, uh, uh, you know, you have um, a very good clarity over the issue now after watching this video. So guys, uh, that's it. Quickly hit the like button. Uh, you know, if you enjoyed this session, for effort, say uh, like the button and make sure in case you uh, you know, have any suggestions for any such other video, please feel free to reach out in the comments of the video. Do let us know how did you like the video and subscribe to the channel and subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys. Uh, we'll meet again in another such session. Till then, take care. Goodbye. Sayonara. Thank you so much.